This is a short video about the so-called Devil Comet that's visible in the sky right now. I'd show you how to find it using free planetarium software. This software I use all the time for my observing sessions and for planning my photography sessions. It's completely free and easy to use and I'll show you where to download it and how to set it up. We'll use this software then to find the best times to observe the comet in the coming weeks and months. I'll give you observing tips and what you can expect to see with the naked eye, binoculars and through a telescope. Pons Brooks was discovered independently by two astronomers, Jean-Louis Pons and William Robert Brooks. Pons was a prolific French astronomer known for his discovery of comets. He first observed it on the 12th of July 1812. Then Brooks, an American astronomer and also an avid comet hunter, observed it independently again on its return in 1883. The comet has been classified as a Halley-type comet because of its long orbital period. In this case, approximately 71 years, allowing it to be observed from Earth only a few times per century. The 12th P part of the name signifies that it was the 12th periodic comet to be catalogued. Periodic comets are those which have been observed to pass Earth more than once and have an orbital period of less than 200 years. Like most comets, 12P Pons Brooks is composed of a mixture of ice, dust and rocky material, but it's also a class of comet known as cryovolcanic. This means that it has eruptions with icy volatiles like water, ammonia or methane. The activity is driven by internal heat of the nucleus and as it nears the sun, it turns these icy compounds from solid to gas. The comet underwent a significant outburst event on July 20th, 2023, showcasing a sudden transformation in the appearance of its coma to a distinct horned appearance, giving rise to the Devil Comet nickname. A more contemporary cultural nod has been given to its connection with the Kappa Draconids, a relatively modest annual meteor shower active from late November into December, but most social media and news outlets went with the more Okay, so at the start of the video, I said I would show you how to add the comet list to Stellarium. So go to configuration window and choose plugins. Select solar system editor. Sometimes this is hidden at the bottom and you have to scroll all the way down. Hit configure. Then import orbital elements. Choose comets. And then in the bookmark, I usually choose NPC's list of observable comets and then get orbital elements. And once you're on this page, then just make sure that you hit mark all for all of the orbital elements that you want to add and then add objects. And you're done. I hope you found the video helpful. Thanks to all the astronomers for the permission to use their images. Clear skies and keep looking up.